Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to round with whole numbers. Rounding with whole numbers. When rounding with whole numbers, you want to look at the space directly to the right of the place that's to be rounded. If the number to the right is 5 or more, meaning 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then the place should increase by one digit and all the numbers after that place turn to zero. If the number to the right is 4 or less, meaning 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the place should remain the same number and all numbers after that place turn to zero. I know that was a mouthful. Let me show you what that means in some examples. Example number one. Our directions tell us to round to the tens place. So we need to remember where our ten pl tens place is. The very last digit when we're dealing with whole numbers is going to be the ones place. The next digit is the tens place. If you're not so familiar with your place values, you might want to check out my video on place values. It gives a great breakdown and you know where the place of each digit is. Okay, they want us to round to the tens place. The description that I read on the previous slide said that you look at the number to the right of the place that you want to round. So here is where we want to round. I'm going to put a little arrow on top. We want to round to this place. But we look at the number to the right of it to decide what we're going to do. So the number to the right is 4 or less. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. A 2 is 4 or less. When the number is 4 or less, this number, the number place where it needs to be rounded, stays the same, but the number after becomes a 0. So if I were to round to the tens place, if I were to round 1,052 to the tens place, it would look like this. 1,050. Any number afterward becomes a 0. The 5 stays the same. When the number is 4 or less, the number you're dealing with stays the same. A common rhyme you'll hear in math is 5 or more, raise the score, 4 or less, let it rest. So, 2 is 4 or less, that means let it rest. That means you don't do anything to the 5. If the number is 5 or more, you raise the score, meaning you go up. I'm going to move on to the next example. Eventually, you'll see how to solve rounding both ways when your number is five or more or four or less. Example number two. Our directions tell us to round to the thousands place. Okay, the thousands place is here. We have a five again. No problem. Remember, the number to the right of this place is what you use to determine how you round. The number to the right is a 6. The comma means nothing. Do not let the comma confuse you. The number to the right is a 6. So the rhyme I just explained to you is 5 or more, raise the score. 6 is 5 or more. That means I need to raise the score. So this 5 needs to come up one digit. Whenever you raise the score, that means you always increase the number by only one digit. The numbers in front always remain the same. So the 3 will be written again. The 5 increases by one digit. That means it's going to be a 6. And then I'm going to write a comma and everything after becomes a 0. 0, 0, 0. So if my directions tell me to round to the thousandths place, that means my number 35,689 will turn into my answer of 36,000. Let's move on to example number three. Round to the ones place. The ones place is the last digit when we're dealing with whole numbers. Okay, the rule is check out the space to the right. Guess what? There's nothing here. What does that mean? We do nothing. The answer to example number three is 9,543. Example number four, round to the nearest ten thousandths place. Okay, I changed the wording here. Sometimes you'll see books or the teacher or your worksheet 
tell you to round to the nearest 10,000th place versus then just rounding to the 10,000th place. And guess what? It means the exact same thing as we were just doing. I just wanted to put both types of directions in so that you don't become confused if you see it worded differently. It means the exact same thing. So, 10 thousandths. Well, if you remember place value, the number directly to the left of the first comma is going to be the thousandths place. And the number to the left of that, directly to the left, is going to be the 10 thousandths place. So the 4, this is the position we want to round to. Everything after is going to become a 0. But we have to figure out if this is going to remain a 4 or if it's going to bump up to a 5. Remember, if the number to the right is 5 or more, we're going to raise the score, meaning we're going to bump it up. If it's 4 or less, we're going to let it rest. That means you just leave it alone and then everything else still becomes a 0. So it's a 0, which is 4 or less. The number directly to the right is 4 or less. So that means we write our beginning numbers as 1,540,000 and everything becomes a zero after that. That's our answer. Example number five, round to the nearest millions place. The millions place is always to the left of a comma. When you're counting from your ones place, it's always going to be the seventh number to the left. So we're rounding to the millions place. That means we got to consider the number directly to the right of it. The rhyme goes five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. The number directly to the right of it is five or more. It falls into that category. So that means we're going to raise the score. That means we're going to make the number larger. So 76 and everything else after becomes a zero. We have a zero, a zero, a zero, comma, a zero, a zero, a zero. So the answer to example number five is 76 million. Example number six, we're going to round to the nearest hundred thousandths place. Remember our thousandths place is the fourth space in, so the fifth space in is going to be the ten thousandths place and then the sixth place in is going to be the hundred thousandths place. If we're rounding to the nearest hundred thousandths place, I'm going to draw my arrow directly above. I'm going to draw an underline to the space next to it. The space that's underlined is the one that determines what the place that we're rounding to does. The number to the right is a three, so that fits in the category of four or less, let it rest. So we're going to rewrite the problem as 6,200, we're not going to do anything to it, 1,000. So the answer to example number 6 is 6,200,000. That's my last example. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to SuperEasyMath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.